I'm gonna give you two things that I want you to do. If you do these two things, it will transform your life. I'm a motivational speaker when I'm not doing this, but, and the reason I do really well as a motivational speaker, because I know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I, you looking at somebody been, been at the bottom before. So I'm not like some rich dude whose mama and them had some money and gave me some money, now I'm telling y'all how to get over. No, I'm gonna tell you how to get over because I've been under. I'm gonna tell you how to get up because I've been down. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna tell you how to finish because I got off to a bad start. Now I'm about to tell you two things. Now listen to me. What I'm about to tell you, this is for spiritual people only. If you're not a spiritual person, this ain't for you. If you don't believe in God, this, this ain't finna do nothing for you. But I ain't know you was coming, so I have no other version. This is only people who have a faith. You ain't got to be no like born again Christian or nothing like that. You, I just, you got to know that God is God. If you understand that, I can help you from here. I'm gonna give you two things that can change your life. It's two scriptures that changed my entire life. It's very simple. The cold thing about what I'm finna tell you is anybody can do it. This is what I'm finna tell you. See, I'm not finna talk to you about no education because I ain't got one. I flunked out of school. I had a severe stuttering problem. I couldn't talk outside my house. I ain't do well in school ever. I ended up flunking out of school. I'm on my third marriage. I lost everything I've owned twice. I've been homeless and lived in a car for three years. I'm finna tell you what I know. This ain't no fancy rich boy answer, no theories, no no. You ain't got to buy no program to do this. You ain't got to go sign up. I'm telling you right now, what I'm finna tell you, if you apply it right now, can change your existence. Because everybody I know want to be happy, everybody I know want to be successful. If you don't want them two things, there's something wrong with you anyway. So now here, there is a scripture that I'm going to give you. It's a very small scripture. It's very short. I don't even know where it is in the Bible. Somebody probably know it if I say it, but I'm going to give it to you. This scripture changed my life. You have not because you ask not. You have any idea how major those words are for you? You have not cause you ask not. It's such a simple scripture, but it's in your Bible. It ain't just in rich people's Bible. It's in the same copy you got. You have not cause you ask not. This is the truest statement you'll hear me say today. Cause it's true. Most people don't have the life of their dreams because you don't ask God for the life of your dreams. You've been trying to figure it out and handle it yourself. Well, how that's working out for you? You know how hard that is to do, man? Because I did it. I did it for 30 some years. I tried to figure it out myself. Man, all, the simple scripture says, you have not because you ask not. If you up your ask, he automatically ups his give. You his child. God created you. He made you. You ain't just here by no accident. You ain't here cause of your mom and daddy. Where your mom and daddy come from? Somebody, somebody started this whole thing. God created you. He gave you these little simple things you could do. You have not cause you ask not. Second reason people don't have what they want and be through with you they don't have it written down. This is a very, very important piece to success. It's a principle of success. Every wealthy person knows this. I don't know nobody wealthy don't have a vision board. I don't know nobody wealthy don't have their stuff written on a piece of paper. I don't know nobody. I know a lot of people doing good. We have discussed it at great lengths. They've showed me some of their vision boards that why well, I had to go back and change mine. I went, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you gotta have a vision board that's gotta be written down. You know why? Because that's a scripture too. Habakkuk two and two. Go, I know where this one at. Habakkuk two and two. Go home and read that one. It says, write the vision and make it plain. 
so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, that means take a long time, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. Man, I'm telling you real now. What I'm telling you works. This ain't no magic trick. If you up your ask and you write everything you want from God on a piece of paper, now here's the exercise I want you to do. This gonna trip you out. Write everything you want from God on a piece of paper. Be as detailed as you can. Write it down. The object for you is to write down 300 things because I know 300 things that you could use. It's gonna be hard for you. When you get to number 75, you're gonna get stuck because your mind isn't conditioned to think way out there. So you're gonna try to stay in your little list. But I want you to just open up your imagination. If you could have anything you wanted, put it on a piece of paper, anything. How many cars? What kind of car? What color? Where you want your next house to be? Do you want a summer home? Where you want to travel to? How much you want in the bank? How much would you like to have to retire? What you want to leave for your grandkids? How much would you like to give all your siblings? Would you like to one day walk in and there and just give all your family a check? Put everything you want on a piece of paper. Do not stop until you have 300 things. It's going to take you a while. I'm telling you, when you get to 75, you, your brain going to lock up. But keep writing it down. But every morning, Read your list. I don't want you watching TV at night. I want you to read your list, uh, unless it's Family Feud. Other than that, I just... <laughs> no, but seriously, take five minutes and read your list every night, every morning. One year from today, one, wait one year from today, and take a pen out and go down on your list and check off anything that has happened for you that's on that list. Listen to me, if you do that in faith, if you read your list with the expectation that God is gonna do some great things for you, at the end of one year, you will be stunned, absolutely stunned at how much stuff comes off that list. I promise you, at least 30 things will be off that list. At minimum, 10% of your list will come true. You know how I know? Because I know a lot of people that done done it. But you know how I really know? Because I did it. When I open up my phone, I wish I had it. My phone is my vision board. My phone ain't got a picture of no damn dog on it, no sunset, none of that. All of my computers have my vision board on it. Every iPad, tablet I got, laptop. When I pull it, I have my vision board on it. Because that's the signal I'm sending to God that I believe this is what you're going to do for me. You be, I take stuff, I gotta get a new vision board now because it's a lot of stuff off that vision board that I put on there a year ago or two years ago that then came true. I'm telling you y'all, this how this work. You have not cause your ass not and write the vision and make it plain. You do them two things starting today. Write your list, read it every morning, every night. One year, check it off, you'll be stunned. I dare you to try that. Watch and see what God do. God keep all his promises. I'm just telling you, thank y'all.